Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, Meteorologist, National Weather Service, San Francisco Bay Area, Monterey Bay Regents, here with your 2025-2026 Winter Outlook update because, well, the latest charts just came out yesterday, November 20th, today's November 21st, figured I'd bring you the update. So let's roll right into this. First off, the U.S. Seasonal Drought Outlook, this was released yesterday, is valid from November 20th through February 28th, 2026. You can see California mostly in white, the legend down there in the bottom right, no drought. Hey, we'll take it, right? We are in La Nina conditions. We currently have a La Nina advisory in place as established by the Climate Prediction Center back east. In short, La Nina just means that the sea surface temperatures across the equatorial Pacific are cooler than normal by at least minus 0.5 degrees C. So the anomaly has to be half a degree C or greater. Um, I should say half degree C or less uh, in order to be La Nina. So if you want to learn more, go to the Climate Prediction Center webpage and learn more there. These are some models that the Climate Prediction Center in conjunction with other organizations run. And so if you take a look at these models, uh, this graph here, I should say, you'll see that we have some observations in this black dot and this gray square, then all the models get run out. And there's that minus 0.5 degrees C anomaly. Looks like the models run us out a little bit into weak La Nina territory and then start to curl us back up into uh, ENSO neutral, Southern Oscillation neutral territory at some point midwinter, January, February, March, February, March, April, somewhere in there. What does that mean? Well, weak La Nina conditions, La Nina patterns typically favor a wetter and cooler Pacific Northwest and a drier and warmer Southwest. So typically it means dry for us. When we get into neutral or normal conditions, that polar jet that we saw on this uh, chart here shifts off to the east and opens the door for the Pacific jet and the subtropical jet to start coming in and having issues. And these images aren't static. It doesn't set up like this all winter. These can and do change with intra-seasonal variabilities, things pushing them around. So that subtropical jet can curl up and hit California and bring us some pineapple expresses or atmospheric rivers. So we'll be watching that closely. But either way you shake it, the odds tilt towards a drier winter. So both in weak La Nina conditions and in so neutral conditions, the previous events that we've seen in this generally show dry. But look at that little slice of the pie, that little green slice of the pie on all the different parts of the state. It grows quite a bit in the neutral years versus the La Nina years. So our odds do go up a little bit in terms of having a wet year, but for the most part, we are uh, a higher probability of being dry on the winter. So it's not a slam dunk that we're going to be dry. And it's not a slam dunk that we're going to be wet. Just realize that the, that the spread increases a bit more as we get into the second half of winter for the neutral conditions. What have we seen already this winter? Well, the water year starts October 1st, goes through September 30th. So October 1st through November 20th. We've had this so far. We're about 120, 130, all the way up to like 270%. Even some sites there uh, eclipsing three and 400% of normal so far this year. So through uh, October 1st through November 20th. So we've had some rain this year. That's great. Now, if we can just keep getting Goldilocks rain, that'd be fantastic, right? The next handful of charts, we're going to look at the updates from the Climate Prediction Center for the outlooks. You'll see temperature on the left, precipitation on the right. When it says above normal, that simply means that we have a higher probability of being above normal for whatever parameter we're talking about. When you see below, that simply means that we have a higher probability of being below normal for whatever parameter we're talking about. When you see equal chances, it simply means that there's no clear signal either way, above or below or near normal to really guide us in any specific way. So they they spread the probabilities across the board. So you get a 33, 34, 33 across the board. So um, that just means it's really kind of up in the air. So looking at the monthly outlook for December, higher probability of being above normal for temperature across, uh, across our area in the month of December. It doesn't mean that we won't have cold snaps embedded within this because we will get cold at times embedded within the signal but when you average december all together probability is that we will be warmer than normal uh, through the month and precipitation world for december equal chances again just no clear signal for that now let's look at the seasons. so when we talk seasons we're talking three months december january february here 
Higher probability of being above normal for temperature for this time frame. Again, we will have cold snaps embedded within that. Don't just take this as like wear shorts and t-shirts all winter because we will get cold. Sun angles low, the nights are long, it will feel cold and get cold. On the right side over there, precipitation, you start to see the higher probability of being below normal for precipitation start to creep up into our area. So it looks like we're going to start trending a little bit drier with that La Nina signal kicking in. That La Nina signal stays in place for January, February, March with a higher probability of being below normal for precipitation across the area. And we go equal chances for temperature there on the left. That, that just tells me that says, hey, listen, so at some point in here, we might have a cold snap come through. So we might get some good northern uh, Canadian or Gulf of Alaska air really sliding down towards our area. February, March, April, temperature goes back to higher probability of being above normal for temperature. Uh, low, a higher probability of being below normal for precipitation across most of our area except North Bay, which remains an equal chances during this time frame. Then as we get to March, April, May, higher probability of being above normal for temperature. And finally, that precipitation uh, bulge of below starts to slip south of us. So it's really just Monterey County. The rest of us remain in equal chances. That's pretty much it. That's the update from the Climate Prediction Center that they put out on November 20th. Uh, thanks for taking time to watch this video. Uh, as always, please give it a like and check out the earlier videos to, to learn a little bit more detail as to what goes into, well, the winter outlook. With that, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and be good to one another. See everybody. Bye.